Let's get right into it. Number 11. You are not secretly eating spiders at night. That fact about swallowing eight spiders a year while you sleep, it is not true. Those eight-legged snacks are not sneaking into your mouth at night. Spiders think you are about as appealing as a giant vibrating mountain. Every breath you take, every snore you make, tells them to stay away. Your breathing and heartbeat are like earthquake warnings to them. To a spider, your sleeping body is basically a massive, noisy, moving disaster zone. Spiders have super sensitive legs that detect the tiniest vibrations. They wouldn't walk towards those scary vibrations, they'd run the other way fast. They're busy building webs in quiet corners and hunting actual insects, not exploring your mouth. The whole myth probably started as a joke article about how people believe anything online, or just to freak people out. You're more likely to win the lottery while being struck by lightning than to actually swallow a spider in your sleep. Number 10. Your blood was never blue. Your teacher might have told you that blood is blue until it hits oxygen. That's wrong. Your blood was never blue. Not even for a second. It's always red. Just different shades depending on how much oxygen it's carrying. When it's full of oxygen, your blood is bright red. When it's low on oxygen, it's darker red. You might point out the blue veins you can see through your skin. That's just your eyes getting tricked by physics. When light hits your skin, the red light gets absorbed by your tissue and blood vessels. But the blue light bounces around. When that scattered blue light reaches your eyes, your brain thinks, yep, must be blue blood in there. But your brain is wrong. Medical textbooks even color code veins blue and arteries red just to make it easier to tell them apart on paper. While human blood is always red, some other creatures actually do have blue blood. Octopuses and horseshoe crabs have genuine blue blood. Number 9. Toilet water doesn't swirl backwards down under. You've probably heard that toilets flush clockwise in the northern hemisphere and counterclockwise in Australia. That whole thing about toilets flushing differently down under is total nonsense. Your toilet doesn't care which hemisphere it's in. The direction of the swirl depends entirely on how the toilet is built, the shape of the bowl, the angle of the water jets, even tiny imperfections in the porcelain decide the direction. Now, you might be thinking about the Coriolis effect. You know, the force that makes hurricanes spin different directions in different hemispheres. Unless your toilet is the size of Texas, the Coriolis effect isn't going to do anything. The force is so weak it only works on massive things like storms and ocean currents. It's about 10 million times weaker than gravity at that scale. Scientists did manage to show a tiny difference, but only in hyper-controlled lab conditions. Your average toilet isn't a precise scientific setup. It flushes whatever way the manufacturer designed it to flush. Number 8. Bats aren't blind buddies. That phrase, blind as a bat, is completely wrong. Bats can actually see very well, sometimes better than humans especially at night. Their eyes are packed with special cells called rods that help them see in the dark. It's like they're wearing built-in night vision goggles. Some bats can even see colors that we can't, like ultraviolet light. And vampire bats have heat vision built into their noses. They can literally see the heat coming from blood vessels. But bats don't just rely on their eyes. They use a dual system, vision and echolocation. Imagine having both a flashlight and radar in your head. They're flying around using both sight and sonar. Number 7. Your tongue's boring taste map. Those colorful tongue maps from science class showing sweet at the tip, salty on the sides, and bitter at the back? They're wrong. This myth started from a German scientist study over 100 years ago. He found tiny differences in how parts of the tongue taste things. But someone took his results and turned them into an oversimplified cartoon map. The truth is, your taste buds are everywhere. Every single taste bud on your tongue can detect sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami. They aren't restricted to specific zones. And these taste receptors aren't just in your mouth. Scientists found them in your gut, liver, and even your lungs. Though trying to taste ice cream with your lungs isn't recommended. Try putting some sugar on the salty part of your tongue. You'll still taste it just fine. Scientists have known this map is wrong for decades. But somehow this map kept showing up in textbooks. Number 6. Your brain isn't split left versus right. You've probably heard you're either left-brained or right-brained. Good at math? Left-brained. Artistic? Right-brained. That's about as accurate as saying the earth is flat. Your brain isn't like a house with a wall down the middle. It's more like an open-plan space where everything flows together. Scientists used to think the left side was all logic and math, while the right side handled art and emotions. 
but modern brain scans show both sides light up for pretty much everything you do. When someone does math, both sides of their brain light up. When they paint, the whole brain gets busy. The left and right sides are connected by a thick bundle of nerves called the corpus callosum, a superhighway where information zooms back and forth instantly, so labeling yourself left-brained or right-brained isn't based on how brains actually work. Your brain isn't divided. It's one big team working together. Number 5. You have way more than five senses. Turns out humans have way more senses than just sight, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. There's equilibrioception, your sense of balance. Inside your ears, tiny fluid-filled loops act like a human spirit level. When you spin around too fast, these loops get confused, and that's why you feel dizzy. Then there's proprioception, the sense that tells you where your body parts are without looking. It's why you can touch your nose with your eyes closed. This sense is also why you can type without staring at your keyboard, or walk without staring at your feet. And thermoception, your temperature sense. This isn't just part of touch. It has its own special nerve receptors all over your skin. These little guys are why you can tell when your coffee is too hot before it burns your tongue. All these senses work together constantly. When you pick up a cup of coffee, your eyes see it. Your proprioception guides your hand, and your thermoception warns you it's hot. Number 4. Dead people do not need haircut. You've probably heard that hair and nails keep growing after death. It's a creepy thought. Your body's still doing its thing after you've checked out. This is completely wrong. And the real explanation is even weirder. When you die, your body starts losing water and drying out. As your skin dehydrates and shrinks back, it makes the hair and nails look longer. They're not actually growing at all. It's like when your gums shrink back and suddenly your teeth look huge. Growing takes energy, and dead cells don't have any. This illusion has been fooling people for centuries. Funeral directors actually have to moisturize dead bodies just to stop them from looking like they're trying to grow out a mullet. Number 3. Ostriches do not bury heads. They just duck. What actually happens is when an ostrich spots a predator, it lowers its head and long neck close to the ground. From a distance, this can look like head burying. But it's a survival tactic to help them blend in with the sandy ground or surrounding scrub, making them harder to spot. The myth probably started because people saw ostriches tending their eggs. They dig shallow nests in the ground and frequently dip their heads down to turn the eggs with their beaks. A Roman writer named Pliny the Elder saw this and concluded they were hiding their heads. This misunderstanding stuck around for 2,000 years. When they are actually in serious danger and cannot blend in, ostriches do not hide, they run reaching speeds up to 43 miles per hour, and their kicks are strong enough to be dangerous to predators like lions. Number 2. Carrots won't give you super night vision. Your mom probably told you carrots help you see better in the dark. That's actually World War II propaganda. In the 1940s, British pilots were very successful at shooting down German planes at night. They couldn't reveal their secret weapon, new radar technology that let them spot enemy planes. So they created a cover story. They told everyone their pilots were eating tons of carrots, and that's why they had amazing night vision. The British Air Ministry even created a pilot celebrity called Cat's Eyes Cunningham, who supposedly got his supernatural night vision from eating carrots. The Germans actually fell for it. Some German pilots started eating carrots thinking they'd get superhero vision too. Carrots do contain beta-carotene, which your body turns into vitamin A, and vitamin A helps you see in the dark. But unless you're severely lacking vitamin A, Eating more carrots won't turn you into a human owl. Most people get enough vitamin A, so extra carrots don't provide a boost. The British also had a massive surplus of carrots at the time, about 100,000 tons. So this propaganda was also a way to get people to eat extra carrots during wartime food shortages. They even created a cartoon character called Dr. Carrot to make carrots cool. It was all just one of history's most successful military pranks. Number 1. You didn't evolve from chimps. Thinking humans evolved from chimps is like saying you came from your cousin. Humans and chimps are more like evolutionary cousins. We both came from the same ancient ancestor that lived about 6 million years ago. This ancestor wasn't a chimp, and it wasn't human either. It was something else entirely that went extinct. Think of it like a family tree with this mystery ancestor at the root. One branch leads to modern chimps. The other leads to us humans. We've been evolving separately for about 6 million years. Scientists know this partly because we share about 98% of our DNA with chimps. But that shared DNA just proves the common ancestor, not direct descent. And we have almost no fossils of this common ancestor. 
It's like having a family photo album where the pictures of great-grandpa are missing. So, we're not chimp descendants. We're their cousins who took a very different path. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.